because of the uh, growing interest in GNH and because of the seriousness with which a growing section of the world's population, intellectuals, academics, scientists, economists and so on, are searching for an alternative development paradigm and because of the encouragement that we have received, Bhutan dared to propose happiness and human well-being as a resolution to be passed by the United Nations and uh, we were pleasantly surprised by the unanimity with which the resolution was passed in the General Assembly in July last year with an unprecedented co-sponsorship by 68 countries. As a result of this resolution and the process by which we, the process that led to this unanimous adoption, I think there is now a greater understanding and awareness and uh, the belief that uh, GNH is not just a soft uh, and, uh, and an impossible, impracticable, idealist uh, kind of a notion, uh, but that it is definitely more than a utopian idea and that it is practicable and that beyond practicability that it does promise the possibility of providing the world with a collective and a common vision for a holistic and a sustainable way of life leading to human happiness. I there is a greater acceptance of this. And so as a part of uh, this pursuit, you know, the follow-up to this resolution, uh, Bhutan is hosting a high-level conference in New York at the United Nations where we will have people from all walks of life, that is, national leaders, UN and various multilateral agencies of the world, including the World Bank and so on, civil society representatives, spiritual leaders, academics, scientists, um, well, people from all walks of life coming together uh, to uh, discuss further the ways and means through which countries could voluntarily start implementing various aspects of a sustainable way of life leading to happiness. We also intend through this conference to uh, appoint a group of experts, a task force to come up with a uh, set of recommendations that will be considered by the United Nations uh, that will be presented for consideration by the United Nations sometime in 2013. Well in advance of the, uh, the date 2015 when the term or the period for the eight millennium development goals will have come to an end. So hopefully we will be able to provide another plane uh, uh, for uh, collective human pursuit 
uh, rising beyond the uh, 8 Millennium Development Goals, while at the same time uh, ensuring that those countries and those communities that have not achieved the 8 Millennium Development Goals will receive focused attention and support of the international community. This conference, this meeting is being held in April, again two months uh, before the Rio Plus 20 conference summit and we are hopeful that uh, we will be able to make, that this conference will be able to make some contributions uh, in the deliberations of uh, the uh, summit in Rio.